It's been a couple weeks now since we got a magnitude 5.2 earthquake that rattled us here in Southern California. Woke me up, woke my cats up, we all felt it, but California is overdue for an even bigger earthquake, and there is a catch. We don't know where it's going to happen, we don't know when it's going to hit, but we do have a lot of information about how all this stuff works. Here on Earth, we have seven major tectonic plates, and most earthquakes happen along the boundaries, along those fault lines where tectonic plates meet. And here in California, that fault line is called the San Andreas Fault. You have the North American plate on this side, the Pacific plate on the other, and they're moving past each other really slowly, less than one and a half inches per year. But even that really slow movement can put a lot of pressure on the rocks in that fault line. And it's almost like if I snap my finger, I build up tension and then energy gets released. Our fault line works a lot in the same way. Building up tension, boom, the rock rupture, releasing lots of energy in those plates rubbing together causes an earthquake, causes that shaking that you probably felt two weeks ago if you were in Southern California. Now, the one we got a couple weeks ago, it was a pretty good size. It was just over a magnitude five. The Earth sees about 1,500 of those a year, and it's like setting off a million pounds of explosives underground. But the kind of earthquake that we are overdue for is closer to a category seven. That is the equivalent of setting off a billion pounds of explosives underground. So we have this big earthquake that we're behind schedule for getting, and when's it gonna happen? We just really don't know. All we can do is estimate. We don't have any specific time forecast for it because you can't forecast an earthquake the way you might forecast the weather. It's all based on when those rocks are gonna rupture. But we do know that along the San Andreas Fault, we usually have a major earthquake once every about 100 years, and it's been more than 100 years since the last major earthquake on the fault line in 1906. So we're overdue, but there are ways that you can prepare for an earthquake. For one, you can secure big things around your home. Things like a fridge or a large shelf. You can brace those, secure those against the wall, just to make sure nothing heavy falls if there's a lot of shaking. It's also a good idea to keep an emergency kit. Things like food, water, medicine, important documents, anything you might need if you need to leave in a hurry. And always, 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 keep communicating, make an emergency plan with your family, and understand where to go if you need emergency alerts. Now, with all this talk of a big earthquake, there's another important thing. Here in California, we're probably much better off than you think. California has had strict building codes for years, designing and retrofitting buildings to handle big earthquakes. So the state now says we have some of the most modern and earthquake-resistant buildings in the world. So we don't know when the next big earthquake is coming. It could be tomorrow, it could be in 200 years, but whenever it does happen, just know that here in California, we've been preparing for a long time. Moses Small, ABC 10 News.